4 Psychological Keys to Make a Man Like You Several studies have shown that attitude can have a power of seduction comparable to the physical. The characteristics linked to acceptance and assertiveness are seductive. Throughout history, the differences between men and women have been exaggerated. The fact that each sex was assigned to very different gender roles has caused to suppose that everything in which the lady and the gentleman differ is a product of innate biological differences. However, there are certain behaviors in which there are very stable differences between men and women, those that have been associated for thousands of years with reproduction. It is true that today neither romances nor intimate relationships are inseparable from the birth of new generations, but the fact that for millions of years has been this way has left marks in our body and in some predispositions based on our genes. In this entry, we will see four psychological keys to make a man like you. These are attitudes and actions that have been seen to be useful, across various cultures and societies, to attract the attention of men. 1. If you are happy, show it. It's that easy. Many women believe that to attract a man it is necessary to maintain a serious or even haughty attitude, repressing their own happiness, but this is not true. Not expressing joy is already a bad idea in itself, it does not make sense when what you want is to seduce a man. For example, in an investigation which results were published in 2011, it was found that men considered female faces considerably more attractive when they smiled genuinely. This phenomenon, however, was not present when women had to rate the attractiveness of male faces. 2. Express yourself. Another myth about the traditional roles of women is that women should adopt a passive and rather discreet role. This idea, in addition to being discriminatory, does not even correspond to what men consider attractive. For example, in a study, it was found that women who gesticulated more when expressing themselves, and who occupied a greater living space because of their movements, were more seductive. In short, a good dose of assertiveness is not only useful in the sense that it helps those who use it to assert themselves and have a greater capacity to defend their interests. In addition, this is positively valued in terms of its seductive potential. 3. Take advantage of the red color. Several studies indicate that the color red serves to seduce, especially in case you want to draw the attention of men. This could have something to do with the fact that we associate red color with vivid experiences and passions. So, something as simple as using this color to dress can help, at least, attract attention and increase the chances of seduction. But, nevertheless, it is also known that the fact of wearing red also unconsciously influences how we act. This may be the key. 3. Do not hide the curves. There are many beauty tricks associated with the ability to attract men. However, the vast majority of them are specific to certain societies and cultures. For example, the stereotype of a slender and attractive woman works in the West, but it does not work in certain agricultural societies, in which men tend to prefer partners with a more robust constitution. Similarly, in Western countries, long hair and blue eyes are also better valued, but this is not something that is fulfilled in many other places. However, there is a characteristic that seems to be very stable regardless of the type of society we take as a reference, the relationship between the size of the waist and the size of the hips or, as it is usually called in the Anglo-Saxon world which dominates this kind of research, the waist-hip ratio. In particular, it is estimated that an ideal waist-hip ratio from the point of view of men is 0.7 or a little lower, dividing the perimeter of the waist between the perimeter of the hip. This means that the voluptuousness of the hip, which many women hide wearing clothing that conceals the curves because of complexes, is, in fact, a weapon that can be used in seduction. The imposition of extreme thinness does not have to do with looking like most women or with actually attracting more men, but with other completely different logic based on marketing. To learn more about 4 Psychological Keys to Make a Man Like You, download my book free by clicking the book image on the right or the link in the description below and please subscribe to this channel and share this video.